right. <laughs> oh! Hi. Is this spaceship sessions? Oh, yeah. I'm just busy drawing a dog. <laughs> we're going to get a dog. Fuck. Right, so we got a different sort of structure today. We're doing a Q&A session. It's still spaceship sessions, though. Yeah, so every day we get asked questions. This video is to help you guys. About a month ago now, we posted on Pan American Travels Association. Um, what? Month ago. Yeah, September the 18th. Holy heck, <laughs> Yeah, so we posted on this web, on this Facebook page, and just got inundated with beautiful people asking incredible questions, sharing our content, and just really, really engaging with our project and giving us a whole bunch of advice for this um, enormous and epic journey. So essentially, what we're going to do now is just kind of scroll through this and answer the big questions that come up. Do you have a website with details on your rig? So I think Patrick Seymour, what you may have been asking is, so it's an international E-Star. Um, it's an all electric vehicle oh. that's been converted to a, to a, it's just been converted. Um, so Joel and the team at Solar Roller have added um, to the roof this incredible solar array. We have 120 kilowatt hours of batteries on the rig and on the roof and the back of the van, we have about between 6,000 and 7,000 oh, yeah, watts, watts of energy. And we're hoping to launch a really big, um, exciting campaign on the marketing side of things very soon. Um, and we'll be able to just shoot people our websites really quickly and easily. The best way to uh, find out that information is by watching either our YouTube channel or Solar Rollers YouTube channel on our build, or also checking out our Facebook page and maybe even sending us a message. Next question. Mark Davis. Hey, that's a pretty cool endeavor. How far can you get in a day? How long to power up? We can get off the two batteries. We can get about 320 kilometers, which is, which creates about 200 miles. And that is with a stop. Maximum. Maximum. Yeah. And that is with stopping and transferring energy from one battery to the main battery which drives the vehicle and that stop and that transfer might take three or four hours. How long does it take to get that sort of range though? That's probably more. We're driving really, really slowly to get that sort of mileage. Yeah. It's sort of like between 10 and 30 miles an hour. And we're keeping that amp arc as low as possible um, so that we're not drawing as much energy from the batteries. This is, so that's miles per hour and it really depends on the terrain. Mm -hmm. So, one thing about electric vehicles, or at least this specific electric vehicle, if there's giant hills, like we've just spent the last six weeks trying to get through the northern Rocky Mountains, and it's taken us a little bit of chunk of time because it's quite hilly, the landscape, um, and it does draw a lot of energy to, to, for us to get up there. How long to power up? If we're charging both the batteries off the grid, so if we've just come across um, renewable energy or sustainable energy, um, we it takes about eight hours to juice up both the batteries, depending on the amperage, depending on the energy that's coming coming in, and optimal sunlight. So if we're charging the two batteries directly off the sun, um, if we're tracking the sun, specifically moving our vehicle um, to I said vehicle, I'm about to say it like you, we're used to tracking the vehicle. And we're moving it, and the entire solar array is up and lifted. We have our two satellite panels facing the sun. We have perfect amount of sunlight as well. Um, you know, we don't have cloud cover or anything like that. It should take about 20 hours. Um, we haven't seen that work perfectly yet because this far north in the world, the sun only fringes the horizon, so they're getting higher and higher in the sky. Um, as we head further south. As we head further south. And I just assume as far as much as we're going further south, um, we're going to see a lot more of that energy coming in a lot quicker and a lot easier. So it's going to be exciting to test for real to use what's going to go on. Mika! <laughs> James Walper. <laughs> Those tires are way too tiny. <laughs> Our tires are really bad, James. And Thanks you are very, that. very, very, very correct. Um, I wish we had a lot more money to replace them with better tires, but we don't. And that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where? Um, we've both been to Asia. Um, 
I've spent a lot of time driving here in India. <laughs> I'm used to pretty Crabby average roads with lots of wildlife. Human. Not wildlife, with lots of animals on the roads and people. And Human animals. And Even in Australia, I worked as an ecologist yeah. for a very long time and my job was basically to drive a four-wheel drive over all sorts of bad roads. Solar and what other energy sources? Yeah. Ben Rasin. Ben. We are using solar as our go-to energy source for when we cannot access clean, renewable energy. In British Columbia, the main energy source is hydro energy. Hydro energy is a renewable energy source. Um, between certain hours, the grid is completely renewable energy. Parts of the grid are supplemented by wind power and solar power but they're also supplemented by thermal gas plants in certain areas. And I don't know if they use coal. They might use coal as well. But um, we've been assured by many sources between certain hours, uh, you can charge on certain grids and you get 100% renewable energy. So other sources of energy are uh, hydro energy, uh, wind energy, solar energy, that's about it. We're probably going to offset that over and over again to uh, to to make sure that we uh, we're a carbon neutral operation here. How will you cross the Darien Gap? <laughs> We'd love to follow your blog, Jude Grewald. It looks like we're going to have to put it onto a ship, the same as everyone else. Ship it down, then we come down a couple of days later, and all through that paperwork and blah blah blah, and then we'll have to offset that carbon emission through that. But there are people out there that own solar-powered boats, and if there's a solar-powered barge out there, or if anyone wanted to build one and meet us down there once we're there, we would love, love, love to chat to you. <laughs> if you're an engineer, and that sounds like something you want to do with us, and you want to organize it, and, and we can work together and make that happen, I would, uh, I would love to talk to you. Craig Logie. Environmental scientist from Glasgow. Joel's going to answer this next question, though, in the best Scottish accent that he has. <laughs> Are you able to talk, top up the trickle charge as you drive? Or is it is the solar array only functional when deployed? Oh, yes, I, I cannot speak in a well, Scottish accent. We are able to trickle charge when we drive. Um, we are limited to the most exposed back panel and the panels on the roof that are uh, exposed while driving. Sometimes we've pulled in on a sunny day up to five kilowatt hours of energy while we're driving. Will we be attending the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous in January? We were not aware of this happening. And thank you, Andy Mel, for pointing that out. If we are there... I'm but, hoping to be there for Christmas. If we are there in Arizona... Arizona, Red Rocks, baby. For Christmas. Big old climate. We're area. going to be in California for Christmas. Hopefully. We, we will be in California for Christmas. It's a definite possibility. It's a definite possibility. <laughs> 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 if we're there, anywhere near Arizona, we will try our best. Keep teaching and telling your adventure. You're just a standard adventure to all the kids you're going to meet out there. Hells to the year. What about the children? Never forget about the children. Thanks, Carolyn Trebler. He says well, everything with Italian accent. Um, George Hoss, great idea. This should be interesting. It should be interesting. It is interesting. Yeah, it's true. And that's it. Say do. Say thing. Pan American Travelers Association. You guys are the bomb diggities. Thank you for starting such an incredible Facebook page and allowing us to be a part of it. Yeah. Sending all our love your way. All that jazz all up. And yeah, no. Yeah, no. Get up! Get up! Pretty sure I won that. Motherfucker. <laughs>